All right, so this is what we're going to try for the next weekly nightmare. We have Poro King, Build of Gorn with Spirit of the Buru, Spirit, Secret Technique, and Black Shield. Secret Technique makes this so all of our Poro snacks, we're going to get twice the amount of stats from them. So that's really nice. Uh, Spirit of the Buru and the Black Shield. All the keywords are fantastic. So that alone is very, very good. But this triggers our star powers so that we get uh, this to go off, giving all of our units 2-2 every single round. So this should give us good protection and survivability because we're getting spell shield on all of our units getting a lot of scaling from our star powers and the secret technique so this should be good i think poor king is already solid when he gets a constellation he's going to be insane anyway so let's grab this and yeah we're gonna hit up the lissandra uh, nightmare portal gonna be a little funny because we're also going to get up against a bunch of poros with little buddies inevitability so they're gonna have really good scaling as well and the deadly we are just a three-star champion, but let's see how we can do here. All right, let's go for the power here. So new student isn't bad because this is a unit on the board to immediately get four keywords. This would also help. Yeah, this, this could be good since it's on the board first. It's going to help our other units. Oh, it's going to get buffed by other units. So that's not bad. Reset also isn't terrible and duelist also isn't bad. Yeah, I, I like new student. I think I don't want to get rid of these. We'll, we'll save our rerolls because especially we only have four. Some of our other champions, we have like seven. So we don't have as many. So I think we'll just grab this. All right, let's go for a Tinkerer. Uh, let's. Yeah, you can hold on to this here. All right, so this one's a little difficult. We could drop our Professor and buff up all future units. Or we could just play two units and they would both get the 2-2 buffs right now. I think since we have our sparring suit on the board and this is getting all of our keywords so that we're going to get the scaling, we might drop the professor. Yeah, I think we'll drop this here. And we're just going to pass. Uh, actually... Sure, they'll block with a Flame Chompers, but we can attack with our Sparring Student. See, that was a situation that if we didn't have our Sparring Student, we wouldn't have wanted to drop our Professor because we would have wanted to get our board wide scaling going. All right, let's... Drop this here to get another blocker going. And yeah, we'll put these here. Sucks to lose two of our units, but we don't want to take too much damage. We just want to build out our board. Thing is, they also are scaling a ton. So it's not like we have a massive advantage in that regards. Uh, they're good at replacing their units we're about to kill. Because we were gonna we were gonna attack with our quick attack challenger and get rid of that one. Uh, we can attack with our sparring student though. I think we'll. Hold off with most of the rest. I mean, I think this is okay. Stand aside. An expert is at work. All right, so we could drop our Poro King. He would level, but I think we probably want to wait and just use like a Poro Nip. So let's go ahead and see what they do. All right, so we could kill that unit. And probably get rid of the professor. So we, we will lose some of our Poros, but we're killing most of their board. Yeah, this will be okay.
so we can redevelop here. Alright, so let's drop our horror stories, get one more unit. Also buffs up our sparring student a little bit more. And let's go ahead and attack. Wow, double flame chompers. Alright, let's go ahead and kill this unit and then GG. The extra spell shield is nice for the protection. Uh, when I'm summon draw Poro, if you behold a Poro, reduce the cost of a card in hand by one. We do have pretty good Poro generation, so I think we'll be fine without this one. We can... Yeah, go... I think this will be okay. But yeah, if Poro King doesn't work, not a big deal. We just wanted to try out a new build with him. Peach Eater. I think we'll go for Kennen just because he's a one cost. And yeah, we want to just have cheap units. So I think Kennen will be solid. Gold, slot bot, or spells chest. We might want to go for slot bot just because we don't actually have too many rerolls. When the foe attacks, they flum summon a flame chompers. I think this has a bunch of items on it, which makes it pretty rough. If the foe is a landmark, grant their strongest unit 3-3. Three, three. I think we'll actually end up going here. Their unit will be getting buffed up because we probably don't have any removal, but I think Baboon can be pretty rough. I mean, yeah, if we could, if we knew we were going to get a Poro Snacks, then yeah, going for Spells Chest would be great, but high likelihood we don't get a Poro Snacks. Yeah, let's go for Scout. That's not bad. Especially since they were supposed to fix it so our Spirit of the Buru affects zero-cost units. Uh, do we want to drop our Kennen Mark of the Storm? Uh, I mean, we already have Quick Attack. I think we might use this later for a rally. Let's maybe just drop our Poro. And yeah, we just want to get as many units on our board right now. So we have more units getting that 2-2 buff. And yeah, we're not going to attack because these are pretty ridiculous. This is one thing that would be nice if they could try to show us beforehand what items cards had because it really changes the difficulty of the the encounters the oasis of the dawn flows again yeah that's not a poro and then yeah the tough actually sucks because each strike then is getting reduced down so yeah poro nip not going to help us too much i think we could probably just work on building out our board All right, so we could recall this unit just to reduce down the damage we're taking a little bit. But yeah, most of our units are dying, which is definitely sad. Uh, an ally strikes an enemy. If the ally is multi-region, it strikes the enemy again. I think most of our Poros are mono-region. Oh, we have... Yes, yeah, some. We do have also our Teemo. This is a six cost, though, so that's a little rough. Yeah, I'll just go here. Hmm. That's nice. I got my six star Pike. I'm so happy. Nice. Pike is very fun. Might be weak compared to how big the Poros grow, but did you try porking with Miss Fortune Relic? I think I have a while ago when it first came out. Uh, let's drop this here. Yeah, I think with Poro King, we might have an issue where we just can't scale up fast enough. Normally, Poro King can just steamroll most challenges, but with how much they scale, yeah, I think 
we're probably actually not going to be able to really do too much here. Because if we attack, we can just die. We don't actually have enough big enough units to hit them. And yeah, they're... While we can scale up faster than them, they have so many stats up front that even though we're like catching up, we're not getting there fast enough. Uh, I think let's go for Golden Herald just so we can get some blockers going. All right, so we need to drop this one here. All right, so we're not actually going to use our Golden Herald. We would like to have the next round. But yeah, there's sadly not too much we can we can do. Which, I mean, he is a three cost. This is a five and a half. The lack of Poros Snacks is also an issue this game. Yeah, we've not gotten a single Poros Snacks the entire time. So Sand Soldiers are nice to have. All right, so we'll attack with these two. Not that it's actually going to do too much. Uh, Iridescent Iris, 1312. Thank you for the follow. And, and yeah, we are not going to be able to do anything because they have double overwhelm units and they both have spell shield. We can't kill both of them. Yeah, we are toast. Oh well. You die for glory. Yep, so we could try to kill some of these units, but I mean, the things that are bothering us are the overwhelm. And I mean, even if we used both of them, we're still taking the damage. So we're still dying. So yeah, kind of doesn't matter. Rip. Uh, we'll we'll try again quickly. All right, we do have a forest next. That's nice. So that can help out a bit. All right, so we're just trying to have as many units on the board as possible. That way we can get as much scaling as possible. Yeah, so we will just end right here. And normally this would be, for one, a huge attack round one. And then just the fact we're scaling by 2-2 two, two every round would be more than most people can handle. But it's just because it's a nightmare. Everyone has such crazy amount of stats. Uh, the Poros Nax is only going to hit two of our units. Let's pass first and see what they do. Okay, just attacking. Alright, so the good thing here is we do actually have two Poros surviving. Which, again, they're only doing because we actually have um, the poor snacks. We can't attack, though, because they can just block with their scout and kill us. Alright, so we're not going to be able to Get around that so we'll just attack with our elusive yeah let's go ahead and actually wait give an ally two power yeah it's not gonna be enough even if it is doubled all right so we'll attack like this get some damage down try to build out our board a bit the order of our emperor our god out here you're moving or you're dead so we could drop one unit to try to try to block. 
but we might want to use our cloud stance. Yeah, I think we'll end up passing actually. Yeah, we have to put that one first there. Uh, that can block and kill them there. So, like, we could attack and kill this unit, but I think we're going to pick someone. We want our first unit to get the strike, because then with the Fury, they will scale up and hit the 12 power. That way they can then kill the Rune Runner, because that Overwhelm is our main issue. So we're picking a target that our first unit can kill. So we'll go ahead and drop this here. Alright, so a little sad we had so many units die. Not great. Alright, so we could drop our Horror King. I think they technically can generate a uh, elusive, so we're actually going to just attack first. And then here we'll drop our Poro King. And we really need to get lucky and draw some Poros. Let's make sure each round the first time you summon another Poro. So yeah, I guess let's drop part of the Fluffet. Although this is going to make up Poro Snacks that's a 3 cost. Which means we won't actually be able to play it. But yeah, it's not actually... Reducing down our max number of units. It's just kind of leaving it the same. Rip. Uh, let's go ahead and we can have him hit there. And we don't actually have anyone strong enough to survive. Uh, these couple places. So that is a little sad. Yep, I think it's just too many stats for us, sadly. Which, I mean, we are playing a three-star champion. Was well, going a bit better though. Cannon them small enough, small enough for your Poro? Yeah, pretty much. Alright, let's drop the Pouty Poro. We have one draw on it, so that's nice. Yeah, kind of the issue, though, is that they just have so many units that we can't actually attack because they have units that are too big to block us. But then we're developing our board just to try to survive another round, and we just yeah, can't make enough to really do anything. Yep. Rip. GG. Also, Rebellion is just brutal with the scaling everywhere. Yeah. Alright, so not quite able to make it. Poro King is still very solid. I think this build is going to be quite good. He's probably going to be one of the best general users of the Black Shield Epic Relic. But into the 5.5 Deadly Modifier, especially when they have one of the powers that is further helping them scale and summon more units. Yeah, Poor King just can't quite cut it here, which isn't really a surprise, but I was hoping he could try to get through.